for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They need toughness, they need physicality, and they need a guy in the back end that can play with some ball skills. Take me through draft night. You're there for your brother, you're there with your older brother, your parents, you're back in the green room, and you said you were surprised that you heard your name called on the first round. Yes, I was. it was exciting. Uh, when my younger brother was called, everybody was excited. All the hearts were filled and everything. We were ready for my younger brother. Um, it was a blessing to see him go walk across the stage. It was like he completed the milestone for himself. And then my family and I, we came back in the green room just waiting, hopefully to hear my name. And then when my name actually was called, it was even crazy because everyone's excitement just rose to a whole nother level then. Um, I, would, I would say I, was, I wasn't so much surprised over excited because it was just like that moment like you actually hear your name called, you're actually walking across the stage and somebody actually called your name to be picked. That was just a, a heart filling moment and I was ready. and. That was amazing. I'm sure any team that picks you in the first round is exciting, but when you found out it was the Steelers, did that add any more excitement to your, yes. your night? Honestly, it did because back in my city, a lot, we have a lot of Steelers fans. Um, a good friend that I grew up with, he was a diehard Steelers fan. He told me a long time ago, if I ever go to the Steelers, he's gonna come to every game. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to help him out with that and try to get him up here for some games and stuff. And it was just exciting. It was an exciting moment. Has it sunk in yet that your brother and yourself are a fun fact now in the NFL record book as the first two brothers selected in the same round in the same draft? Honestly, it hasn't. It felt like everything was unreal last night. I woke up this morning was like, okay, it's not a dream. It really happened. And then my, when my younger brother, he said the same thing. He was like, hey, bro, it really just now happened. And we we're so excited. My family's still excited. And it's, it's a blessing. What did that mean to your parents who now have three sons in the NFL? I'm pretty sure it meant everything to my parents, that they put three boys through it all and they had three guys that achieved something in life. I'm not saying that football was our only route of doing things, but just knowing that they raised us right and then they had all three boys that actually did something with their life. Ryan Shazier was there last night. He walked to the podium to call your name. And with the 28th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Terrell Edmonds. I'm sure you know his backstory. What was that like having him be there as part of your moment? I think that was the biggest moment in the draft. Not hearing my name called, but seeing him actually walk on the stage and smiling and giving me the jersey just because everybody knows what happened. And it's just, uh, it was a sad moment. And then actually seeing him get healthy and walk on stage in front of everybody, that was amazing. And I was just blessed to have the opportunity to go up there and shake his hand, give him a hug. And he actually welcomed me to the family. So that, was, that made it even better for me. So that was amazing. He's a former first round draft pick. Did he offer you any advice? He told me a few things on the phone. We talked a lot. He told me if I ever needed him, I can call him. And then he just told me, come out and be ready to work. Your relationship with Pittsburgh through the process of the combine, the pro days, that kind of thing. What do you remember and take away from your interaction with the team? Um, I remember Coach Tomlin just talking to my parents and was like, he's going to make sure that he gets the best athlete and the best person out of me. So it's not so much just a straight football point of things, but he made sure that he's going to make me develop into a pro. So uh, just that whole mindset of thing and how I'm going to have to come in and work for everything, that's, that's just everything I ever dreamed of. You come from a football family, your dad played in the league. Your dad was your high school coach though. Was there a separation between dad the coach and just dad or was it just football all the time? Um, it, it definitely wasn't football all the time. Um, dad the coach was the hard dad. He was the hardest okay. dad that you could have, <laughs> you could say, because dad the coach was 75% just dad at home and then that 25% dad the coach because he, he still wanted you to be that, that, that his son and wanted you to excel on the highest level. So if he thought you were, even if you did your best, he always brought up something that you could have done better just to push you to a whole nother level. So, but I'm thankful for all of that. Your mom was also involved in sports growing up and you've mentioned her, your brother, even during his introductory press conference. What role did she play in your life and does she still play today? Everything that my dad didn't tell us, my mom told us. So they're- <laughs> Like they're, what? They're perfect together. My mom, she, She's the one that made sure that we stayed in condition. So whenever we came home from Virginia Tech in college, she's the one, she took us to the YMCA and we ran legit. 
30 laps up <laughs> upstairs on the little lap thing, just ran 30 laps trying to get a mile in. I don't think it's about 30 laps, but she was up there, always made sure we stayed in condition, made we did, sure we did like the stair master and everything. She was the, the go, go, go type of mom all day. And then my dad was just over there to oversee everything and they just perfect together. When uh, Coach Tomlin and Kevin Colbert were talking about you after they picked you Thursday night, they said you're a good communicator and you're a versatile player who can move around in the defense. How would you describe yourself as the player? I would say the exact same thing. Also a leader on the field. Um, just at Virginia Tech, I have to make the calls, make the checks at Virginia Tech. Um, everything, was, everything went pretty well. So uh, I'll say the exact same thing. I, I played corner my freshman year. I played strong safety my sophomore year, and I played free safety last year. So everything was just all in motion and just had to learn the defense and then just be that player that you know you are. Is there one position that might be your favorite or you like just a little bit more? Honestly, wherever. I just feel as if wherever uh, the coaches put me here, I'm just going to go out there, give them my all, and make play for them there. So wherever they put me, I'm ready for it, and I'm ready for that task. Playing at Virginia Tech, you've played Pitt before at Heinz Field. What do you remember from playing at that stadium? I remember my new teammate, James Conner. <laughs> um, James Conner, he broke on us. Like he, he, he broke away from the defense, rallied around like three times, I'd say. And then I had to go down and chase him down. I know he's probably going to say something about it now, but I had to chase him down uh, two or three times. I caught him on like the 10-yard line, so that's something that I remember. Have you had a chance to talk to him yet since being drafted? Yeah, he congratulated me last night and told me he's glad that I'm his teammate and now it's time to get to work, so I'm ready for it.